Number 46. A cassette recorder uses a plug-in transformer to convert 120 volts to 12 volts with a maximum current output of 200 milliamps. Letter A. What is the current input? All right, so we're talking about current and uh, voltage. So there's a couple of ways uh, we can basically do this, right? We can use the transformer formulas over here, uh, but notice how um, in these formulas, notice how the these two formulas have basically the number of turns in common, but they're reciprocals of one another, right? See how this is the secondary coil and this is the primary? So what I mean, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of them. Let's say I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna flip this side. When I flip that side, it becomes NS over NP, and then I gotta flip that particular side, right? So that's IP over then IS. Now what I realize is that these two that I'm highlighting are identical. And what that means then is that since they're equal to both this and this, right, then I can set those equal. So this is IP now over IS is equal to VS over I, uh, VP. Now you can memorize this if you want, or you can derive it whenever you need. It doesn't really matter. You can add this to like your third formula if you want. Um, all right. So uh, basically now what we need to do is what is the current input? Anytime they're talking about input, they mean primary. So we're looking for IP. All right, so they, the output here, they told us the output is 200 milliamps, but let's get that all in amps, all right? So, and the reason why is just because uh, I, I, I like to, I don't like to, we can technically plug in the milli, but I don't want to remember when I can or when I can't. I just, I just remember that, okay, amps, I, can, I need amps, right? So to me, that's just easier, all right? But you might disagree and that's totally fine. So this is going to be 200 uh milliamps but we need that in amps so that's 0.2 okay and once you become good at the conversions it literally takes you no time to do it so this is then uh the voltage in the secondary all right so it's saying a plug-in transformer to convert 120 to 12. so this is the input this is the output so the output remember is always secondary right so this is 12 then and the primary is then 120. all i got to do is now a little bit of algebra here so take the 0.2 multiply it by the 12 and then divide it then by the 120 and you get 0 0.2, okay, 0 point, sorry, 0 0.02, all right, and uh, that is then in terms of amps. Now, that's all fine and dandy, but we got a letter B. What is the power input? Okay, so uh, power, right, remember PIV. Power is equal to current multiplied by the voltage. So if I'm finding the power, it says, uh, what is the power input? So input means primary. So if I want to know the primary power, then I need to know the primary current. I need to know the primary voltage, all right? Remember, consistency is key. So the primary current we just solved for, which is 0 0.02. The primary voltage was the 120, and that's all we got to do now, okay? So it's going to be basically 120 times 0 0.02, and we get 2.4, all right? So we got 2.4, and that's in terms of watts, all right? Let us see, is this amount of power reasonable for the small appliance? Yes. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. All right. I look forward to helping you out with more problems. Check out our other videos too, our other subjects. We got math, science. Be well.